face to our creator. And uh, I want y'all to, what in the world? Oh, the enemy don't want y'all to see it. The enemy don't want y'all to see it. So it's, I got to pause it though. Okay, let's pause it. Let's get it paused. All right, this is a movie that I think everybody should go watch. And this called, I was pause it there. So they don't try to stop it. It's called Blackout, Invasion Earth. That I've seen like three or four movies, and there's more than just this one on there. I'm just I say go watch this one because this one's gonna keep you more interested. There's one that's not as similar, but kinda, but it's a lot more boring. But it points out the fact that even if you do have your stuff in wellness and you got your shit, you don't want certain folks to find out because they will tell, and folks from the cities will come try to take your stuff. Um, and it's showing how from people from the inside, if they don't get a, if they have a throw a fit or attitude or something, when things hit the fan, them folks that those attitudes and fits that get violent and, and all that shit that want to fight and start trouble and destroy anything, destroy property and anything like that. These are the exact people that's going to run to the city after you get tired of them and kick them off the land and kick them out. They're going to run to the city and tell everybody where y'all at. The bad ones, not the good ones. The good ones, ain't nobody kicking them out because I'm not kicking no good guy out. That's a darn shot. And um, the ones that did come and left that were the good ones, then the good one, no, he ought to get back. And we've been talking, so I know he knows how to get back. He didn't cause any trouble. But what you have to realize is that they actually put stuff on YouTube. They're telling you they're not even putting it on the mainstream uh, uh, excuse me, movies like they used to. Um, excuse me, because I burped. But now I got the hiccups, man. I'm going to drink some water. But now they actually have the balls and the gall. I said it. You heard it. The balls and the gall to put it on YouTube movies. And the thing is, they're popping up all over my, like three or four of them has popped up. I watched half of one. I can't seem to find it. It disappeared. I'll probably just go through my thing. And uh, matter of fact, hold on. Because you know what? Maybe they can't. Exactly. All right, so they're messing up my screen now. That's so freaking nice of y'all to mess up my screen. Uh... Yeah, they see, they ain't even there no more. They they got rid of it. So they made that one disappear. But I found this one. This one is up, and I'm about to watch it right now. I watched some of it, and I rewinded a little bit that I did watch because I can always see where this is headed, and it's good from jump. It seems to be good even to my left off, which was, it starts jumping off quick. But here's the thing. It's not so much about me being good and you being at the tang, although I'm picking one that you're empty to be at the tang so you don't get bored and change it. It's about you seeing what's really going to happen. And in this movie's, they're showing you what's going to happen. The devil is not hiding it. He wants you to know. So when he do it, you can't say shit because he told you. He's just being slick about it by putting it on YouTube. Okay? And the devil is on earth. He lives in a certain city that the Greeks and Romans used to control back in the days. And it's mentioned in the Bible. Um, matter of fact, if I get a chance, I'm actually going to show you all that. Um, which scripture... I might even have another guy read the scripture because he actually is one guy on YouTube right now reading the scriptures and telling anybody where the devil's at on earth right now at this moment, which is really crazy because the Bible tells you where he lives, where his throne is at. So, which, and I learned something because I didn't realize the Bible told you where his throne was at. I just figured in hell, but hey, guess what, guys? We in hell right now. Earth, this earth is, has became a hell and because we're not on top and their heaven is our hell and our heaven is their hell. So we'll get out of heaven and then they're going to have the hell. It is what it is. But, you know, there will be fire and brimstone and all that stuff. At least that's what they're saying, but it's not going to be the way they said. It's not coming from the space the exact way they say it. It's these people working with the Draco, reptilians, and raptors and everything else you can think of to make rock that has no iron or metals in it so it can't hit there because all the rock that comes from what they call space, which is all natural rock, has iron and metal in it, which means the planet would deflect it. It would never hit the planet. Yeah. So anyways, I just want y'all to know, know that, but watch this movie, and if, don't please forget, don't uh, please don't forget to send somebody to my cash app. Um, and My PayPal is back up and running. I know that somebody would text me and said, I tried to send you money on your PayPal. This is like last week, and I, don't know, I, only, I didn't ask for any money last week, but somebody tried to send me money last week, I guess, and the PayPal wouldn't take it. 
Well, the government tried some old funny stuff and I got it all straightened out. So now I can receive money and the government cannot stop me from receiving money in my PayPal. I don't even know how they did what they did. And basically what they did do is make it seem like um, somebody was trying to put fraud on my PayPal. So I had to send information I didn't want to send in, but I was very slick about it. And my PayPal is back up. But I use I use this, this way. I make sure I use all my old addresses because they don't know my new address, my PayPal or my cash app. So the government thought they were slick. They wanted my new address and they still couldn't get it. Listen, when they want you, they'll try. But anyways, I love all of you. Peace and love to everybody. Look from within. Stop praying. Start speaking stuff to existence. You actually are not supposed to pray. Praying is for the devil. You're praying to these names and it's for the devil. When you speak stuff into existence, that energy source, that thing that we call the creator, which is just energy inside of you, because we are portions of that creator, okay? We are all part of the same family. When that book says ye are gods, yes, the G word is pagan, so that part's wrong, but you are creators, is what he should have said. And you have the power to create your own future by speaking it into existence. Not foolishness, only things that are good. Good health and stuff like that. And it can you can do it. I spoke the fact I was going to have this job into existence and I still got my job. Yeah, 15, 14 folks got screwed. They tried to screw me, but I had made sure I took care of it before they could. So they may have screwed me for a week. But hey, the 25th, I go up to the main office like they told me to. And the 26th, I start, like they said, working at a different location, same job. Okay? And the only thing that I'm thankful about besides that is that the energy source that is in me, which we call the creator, which is in you, made sure that somebody, a Gentile, really a heathen, told me what they was pretty much going to do. And she tried to sugarcoat it, but she told me, and I paid attention and when I start seeing white folks get fired, I already knew the black, what they, they like to call us black, but that's not. We are and white folks. You're not even white. They call you that, but that's still wrong. But anyways, that they was going to go ahead and try to stick it to me and anybody else. And I was right because 14, 15 people got screwed. I'm the only one so far that didn't get screwed because I caught it before it could happen. But that still means I go a week without any money. And man, I've been building. I really want to show y'all stuff I've been doing. I just haven't showed it yet because I want to show y'all the finished project product. Just know that the porch is 99.9% .9 finished. All I got to do is do a little more plaster, 